Next, we're gonna look at manual muscle tests. I just largely recommend that whenever you're doing manual muscle testing, you try to use a handheld dynamometer and be as objective as possible when you're doing this. So the first thing we're gonna look at is gonna be knee extension strength. And two things. So for one, this is often provocative because when we do knee extension, it is gonna put some strain through the patellofemoral joint, right? So you can take your handheld dynamometer, place it right at the ankle here. Go ahead and kick out against me here, Jackson. Awesome, great work. Next, we're gonna be checking hip abduction and hip extension strength. There is some research to show that folks with patellofemoral pain will acquire weakness after they have patellofemoral pain. So we're gonna have Jackson lay on his side, straighten out this leg right through here. I'm gonna put my handheld dynamometer on the ankle, bring up the leg to about, yep, level with the hip. Go ahead and push up nice and strong. Push, 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 and then relax. So again, we wanna make sure that we check both sides. And in folks that have patellofemoral pain, the involved side may be a little bit weaker. From here, let's have you flip onto your belly. We'll do hip extension. And there's a lot of ways to measure this, but this is how I tend to do it. So largely, we're just gonna bend at the knee, just like so. I'm gonna take the handheld dynamometer, place it at the hamstring, right uh, above the knee. And from here, go ahead and kick up nice and strong to the ceiling. Jackson, good, push, 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 and then relax. We'll check side to side, and you may find that the involved side is a bit weaker.